Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rampage and welcome back to Solarix. Now, <laughs> the developer saw my video and basically said, well, bro, I understand, but you forgot a few of the gameplay elements as well as lean and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to sh show you guys that, but um, one thing I would like to point out to the developers right now is that I, I don't know what happened, but after I restarted or continued through this section, went through the exit, whatever, loaded the next bit, I can't use my hacking tool. It says it's empty, but it had like 90 points left, so I'm not too sure what's happening there, and when I double click on it, it doesn't actually do anything. Like, it switches to it, but I can't use it. And then when I switch to it, it just, like, discards itself. I don't know what happens. Uh, just wanted to point that out to you guys. Um, so I'm going to... Normally, you'd have to use the hacking tool to get through here. But, as I said, I can't use my hacking tool. So what I'm going to have to do is float over the top. And here we go. <laughs> this is why I love this glitch, because if the game, like, bugs out... Oh, hello, mate. Really? Now I literally can't pass this bit because now I have no ammo whatsoever. Now, another thing with the AI is that when they find you, they will most likely just run towards you and then they kind of like start shooting. Now, I was told that the AI or the sort of enemies or whatever are after you, are after Walter, but I'm not entirely sure why. Um, that, I assume, would be explained within the game, but why can I not pick up this gun? Seriously, bro, why can I not pick up this assault rifle? Because that, right now, would be friggin' useful. But, um, yeah, you can throw dead bodies around, and, uh, for some reason he has two guns now, because one's on the floor. I could pick it up, but I can't actually use it. I don't like that idea. Um... <laughs> But yeah, this bit here I didn't really like because you're supposed to find a, or supposed to get inside one of the buildings. Now, one of the buildings, I like, don't really know which one it is because there's no map to tell me where the buildings are. Now, you'll understand what I'm talking about when I start moving around because you start to lose your foot. And this bit right here, I need a key card. So, uh, I believe, oh, I don't remember which one it was. I don't think it's him. Um, but that's going to be a pain in the ass because now I can't actually do anything. I can't defend myself. I've got one bullet left. So I'm essentially I had a luck. Shit out of luck. <laughs> because I can't there's no, as far as I'm aware there's no more ammo. Um, so yeah that's probably going to be an issue. But let's let's see. What happens? Oh, uh, before I continue, I'll just quickly show you guys. Oh, the UI is a bit out of line there. Sorry about that. After I reset my thing to default, I actually clicked this instead of going into controls and then going restore to default. Um, but yeah, the restore to default is sort of out of line. Um, <laughs> not too sure what's going on there, but yeah, as I said before in my last video, Crouch is left control, interact is spacebar, and jump is Z. I don't really like those configs uh, because it's kind of out of my way and a little bit weird for me. So I'm going to switch those and then put this as, or interact as that one. So we've got lean, and I'll show you exactly what that will be like. So, for crouch, you know, there we go, bugs out again when you move. Um, so, lean doesn't really want to work with E for some reason. Hold on. Yeah, in, lean right is E. So, wait, let's just go to default. Just, just deal with defaults for now. So, there we go. That's what lean will look like. Now, essentially what lean will be used for is to say if there's a guy right here, yeah, you would crouch behind something and then sort of peek around the corner. It would kind of make you be able. It'll obviously make you be able to see a little bit more around the corner. Now, I think the leaning in this is kind of cool because it actually like moves you out of the way of your sort of gun, and it makes you actually look like you're leaning to a different side rather than just 
actually panning the the camera view left and right, which is what most games actually do, to be completely honest. Um, but uh, yeah, I do like that feature. I will admit that. But uh, so we need this bone cutter thing. Yep, this bone sort. Uh, shit, what was pick up space bar? There we go. Now it would be cool if I could use one of these like spanner things to whack people because in this situation, because I have literally no ammo left, melee would be great. And I understand that you like can't really do animations or you don't have people that can do animations or whatever. But I really think you should get somebody or even. Like, if I actually knew how to do this shit, I would do it for free, but, you know, I'm not a game dev, so I don't know. But, like, just, just, I don't know, try, get someone, because animations will make this game that much better. And I really do believe that. Because without them, you know, you, you're cutting away a lot of features. And I, I know that you're using an old UDK engine, I do understand that, but... I just want this game to be the best game that it can be, and I don't think it can be that without certain features enabled. And, uh, I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, uh, go through here, no, need card key. See, I'm essentially buggered now, unless this is ammo, nope. Um, so we're back at the start. See, like, I thought I turned around, but I didn't really really realize that I full-on turned around. I don't know. It might be because it's a little bit too dark for my liking, and I kind of, like, lose my footing on where I actually am. But we have to find some guy uh, with the keycard so we can continue. But, uh... I don't know. They, they should place some ammo down, because in this situation, if you don't have melee... You are basically buggered. <laughs> yeah. Because if I have to actually... Like, in the story, if I have to kill one of these people, right, and I can't do so to collect whatever I need to collect, then I can't continue. And you've basically got yourself a, a bit in the game where you, the player can't continue. You know? So... Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, I can't really remember which one it is, because when you go up to the, one of the uh, people, I believe he drops the card key, or access card, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've actually forgotten, because it's been a while since I've played Solarix, uh, because this is the exact sort of version I played, and, well, actually, I think I might need to go through here. This is the bit that really pissed me off, so I'm going to turn down the, the fucking audio. <laughs> And you'll, you'll probably see why in a moment, but um, I also found a bug here as well. Uh, I don't know whether the main team or the production lead or whatever knows about this, but if you go up to this guy, right, cut off his hand and pick it up. Fucking guy supposed to spawn. Hasn't spawned yet. Oh no, it looks like they fixed it, because beforehand you could, like, get a double sort of person. Uh, not a double person, but, like, double hand, and it would, con like, it would give you two uh, versions of his hands. Like, that was, uh, I found that kind of weird. But there's supposed to be a guy that spawned. Why did he not spawn? Why did he not spawn? He's probably in here somewhere. I cannot see in front of me at all. I do not want to go in there for that exact reason because the light doesn't want to work that way. It's like, no. You do not want to pass, mate. It is fine. I believe I need a card key. You ain't listening to me. I cut it out. All of it. Every part that makes you docile. Every part that makes you docile. And I'll keep doing it whenever I please. Every Yeah, there was supposed to be a guy that spawned. I do not know why he didn't. Unless they removed it. Because it did scare the living shit out of me, but it just came out of nowhere. So I was like, what? How? What is going on here? But, uh... Oh, so we need a keycard seal. I'm not container. Health pack. Security. Wow, seriously? 
So, okay, so before I needed to kill a guy, but now I can just open this. Why is there no ammo, guys? <laughs> Seriously. Why no ammo? Yeah, which one is it? This one? Yeah, okay. Oh, Walter. So they've changed up the, the gameplay a little bit, which is kind of cool. Because beforehand, I had no idea what I was doing um, at this point here. But for, I don't know what happens after this, like after I get through the door, because I didn't actually get this far before. <laughs> um, like, I got this far, but like, there's supposed to be another area where you find another weapon. I believe it's here. Uh, audio log. Okay, can't play it yet. All right. Oh, okay. So we can go there that way. Audio log. Play, goddammit! Doesn't want to play the audio log. Okay. So we've got the lean down. We've got the. Oops. We've got the. This, which is the inventory. I'm not really a big fan on how it sort of moves you around uh, while you're in the inventory because if you're like looking around, I understand like. Alright, the only way that I can see this being a good thing is that um, you can still navigate around to see whether there's people around, but it's kind of annoying if you're just like this, and you're trying to like decide which one you want to sort of look at and whatnot, I don't know. I just find it a little bit weird. But uh, yeah, leave comments below to see, to tell me what you believe is the the better form of having the actual inventory because as I said I don't know I don't know I'm not really a big fan of the whole moving around thing um, but yeah I didn't actually get this far so they changed it changed it up a little bit yeah electroshocker there we go now I can defend myself <laughs> yeah so you all right, so you, you can, I believe you can shock them from the front, but it, they'll be alerted, obviously. But if you do it from behind, they'll be insta-dead. I, I don't know. I think that's how it is. Lots of dialogue, bro. I don't really want to read that. Um, <laughs> I'm one of those people that I don't like to read a lot of dialogue, so to see that, it's kind of like, all right. <laughs> Radio. Oh, there we go. Now it wants to work the same audio log, isn't it? Exactly like I thought. Surface mines are infected and spreading to the orbital ships. Oops, I can shut it from inside. It sounded like the same audio log to me, but anyway. Um <laughs> This way. Yeah, I didn't I don't think I got this far before. Or it was different, because I completely missed this weapon. Um so yeah, it's it's a little bit different since the original build I had, which is good because now I actually can get the weapon because before I didn't. Um, is this the end? You got no Ooh. Real here. You gotta I can't see shit because the light doesn't want to go further and like further in the distance. So let's not go that way. Hello. There's a bit of a hole here. Why is there a hole? What is a hole doing here, bro? And mad light. I don't know what's going on there. Something's. Oh. What the hell? It just sort of like cut off. What the fuck? It should like I should have to go. Oh, I don't know what that error says. I can't actually see it because my monitoring software is in the way. But yeah, it should make me go up towards a door before it sort of skips me to this section. It's a little bit weird. Hmm. This is a new area. I think I could get here before, but. It didn't exactly do much. I think it just sort of ended before. Ooh. 
new area. I like it. All right, so I'm going to just continue because this is actually completely new to me. Um, which is kind of cool, actually. But again, bro, we need more ammo. I don't care if you just, like, put six per level. <laughs> just allow me to have more ammo, please. That'd be lovely. Why can't I jump right now? Or crouch? Oh, I can go. Whoa. Whoa. What? Why did a violin just play? Oh. Holy shit. I might actually have to go back through this and uh, help find bugs because this shit is new to me. <laughs> Now I literally have no idea what I'm doing because I never got. I don't even think this was in the build that I played. Because uh, I believe it, as I said before, I think it cut off uh, just as soon as you got through with the door. Or d just crashed, I think, because the, the level wasn't finished or something. I don't know. Um. Oh. Fancy. What is this? I assume that's some kind of like spaceship that crashed. And I don't think this is the correct way to go. Oh, something down there though. See, like in this situation, this this bit here kind of looks like it's going to be a huge level. So I would hope that they added a uh, a map into this section at least. Like health pack, bro. Give me ammo. Ammo needs right now. I don't need health. Why can't I go this way? There's like an actual barrier, and I can't jump. Wait, jump is Z. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. Whoa. Bit of a texture fail there. Yeah, seriously though, Z is jump. That's a weird button, bro. Weird buttons. Check out what's this way. Ooh, it's like a full on forest, bro. <laughs> Control, there we go. Crouching is kind of a little bit too slow, I think. That's just my personal opinion, because if I'm, like, here, and I'm trying to, like, sneak up on a guy, and then they do this sort of, like, loop where they walk around, then I'm kind of buggered. What is that noise? What? Oh, God! Um... Why aren't you dying? Oh my god, there's two of them. Uh, stand up, please. Nope, okay. <laughs> what? Normally it was a one shot. I think, like, I. Oh, I think I gotta get it in the head. I think. Let's try it on this guy. Oh, no. Nah. He's coming. He's coming. Ah! Bro. Ah. Uh, zappy zappy motherfucker I can't see your health and why are you not dying what is this bullshit wizardry die you slut what the fuck bro die Ugh! What is this bullshit? I don't understand. Like, it's supposed to be a shocker thing, right? And when I go behind them, it's supposed to be a one shot if I get them in the head. But if I don't get them in the head, apparently they don't die. <laughs> um, as well as if I do it from the front, they don't die either. So, like, it just, what? doesn't make any sense because if you want me to be stealthy right and take them out from behind that's all good but if I run out of ammo for a gun and the shocker doesn't work when I get them on the front side how how would I defend myself he has no idea what's going on 
And it just doesn't want to die, man. Like, this guy just says, nah, fuck off. Because you, sir, are a little midget with a shock tool. So, get on my level. Like, I don't know what's going on here, because they should die. Because you can see the blood coming out, yeah? So, like, what? And I'm purposely not using health packs because I just want to die. Uh, because it's just not going to leave me alone otherwise. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think that the shock tool should be able to kill them or at least stun them. Because at this point, the shock tool, I don't really know what happens. Um, a device used to immobilize an attacker without causing serious injury. Typically by administering an electric shock, only effective when fired up close and behind an enemy, when it's not actually doing anything to that guy. So, yeah. I assume it could be the fact that this enemy doesn't, or it doesn't affect this enemy because it's wearing a suit, but then the enemy's essentially an OP enemy. You can't really defend yourself unless you just run away because it's just going to give away, uh, give up after a while, right? Which, I don't know, I don't really like that idea of a gameplay element, to be completely honest. But uh, yeah, this this bit, uh, this sort of playthrough bit will probably be a bit longer than usual because, yeah, as I said before, I haven't actually played this bit. I don't know what's going on. Um, I actually, I don't know if this is like more, like if there's a level after this or whether this is the last level for the beta. But um, yeah, I don't know. And I'm sorry that I didn't actually, like, ask more questions about that. Like, how many more levels there are implemented and stuff like that. But, um... I don't know, I would like to see a map because this level is huge. Way bigger than the rest of them. And I'm assuming that I can actually get up there. Oh my tit. Oh, now I'm stuck. Don't mind if I just uh, do that, do you? No. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> um, oh, don't worry. I won't find, like, glitches while I'm playing. Or, uh, <clears throat> or bugs or anything like that. Um, smoke is just, like, a 2D texture. Not an actual effect. A little bit weird. Okay, so that's just a hole, I guess, yeah. Okay, so... Like, what... What am I doing? Um, is there... Objectives? Okay. Gain access to mines. There will be a separate access card to get through the mines entrance. I need to find it. Crash site. There may be useful materials in the wreckage of the shuttles. Okay, so if I can't defend myself... How am I supposed to do this? And now there's two of them. Fucking great. Hello, mate. Would you kindly walk away? Because I don't want to deal with you right now. Can I go up here? I think I can, actually. Hell yeah! Suck it, zombies! Oh. Uh. Ah! Getting pushed. I said I wasn't going to find bugs or glitches or anything, but I lied. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I don't know, I just have a knack of finding weird stuff. They better not, like, put something up here, because I would be really, really... Annoyed. <laughs> I don't even know. How does how does one do this with a ship? I don't don't comprehend, bros. <laughs> um. Okay, so 
In this section, I noticed that the AI are, can't, like, they don't really want to die. Um, I don't know whether that's because of the shock tool doesn't affect them because they're wearing a suit, or whether they're just OP AI. At this point, I have no idea, uh, because the shocker is supposed to incapacitate them, uh, especially from behind, so, like that, like that shot would have incapacitated it, but nope. This one apparently gives no fucks about being incapacitated. Which is not really a good thing when you're trying to play a stealth game. Hacked. Press to use. Listen. What? The ball sack. But, um. Hmm. Are you right there, bro? You having a bit of fun? Don't worry. Don't mind me. I'm just over here, just chilling. Leave me alone! After a while, we'll give up. <laughs> um, Paul Stents, I think you need a few barriers around some of these objects. Uh, because, like, I don't know. Unless you want people jumping around all over them. Yeah, it's not an issue for me because I like doing that sort of stuff, but just putting it out there. Oh fuck, I'm stuck! <laughs> um, no idea where I'm going at this point. Need to find some kind of key card. Is this guy's gonna give up? I think so. Eventually they will. There we go. Why the hell would a key card, like, if this was a wreckage, I don't think a key card would have survived. <laughs> Just saying. I think I need a gas mask to go through here. Nope. Gives no fucks. Hello, mate. Let's make these guys go go over here. This is basically what I would be doing for the game because if I can't like incapacitate him or it doesn't want to work, then this is how I would probably play spend my time playing the game. Um, just saying. Yeah, I don't want to read that. What a primitive explanation! Ooh. Even your language is insufficient. But anyway, yeah, see, this is kind of like f f running on nothing, actually. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. See, this is way more fun than being stealthy. Look how many guys I have chasing me, bro. <laughs> oh, no, nah, it's just, no, nah, they, they don't even care, apparently. <laughs> it's like, nah. It's too fast for me, it's fine. Let him go. It's okay. Now we need to find some kind of mines entrance. Oops, wrong one. There we go. There will be a separate access card to get through the mines entrance. You need to find it. So why the hell do I need to find two key cards? Is this gonna be the entire game though? Like do I have to find key cards all the time? I'm not a fan of repetition. Especially one after the other. <sighs> Why would everything in this facility be locked? That's my question. Health pack. Don't actually need that. I need fucking ammo. As well as trying to get ammo for me bloody hack tool would be great too. See, like, I haven't. Uh, this is what I was saying before. I haven't found any ammo. Now, ammo. I have no idea if there's any more ammo. If there is, it's not placed in any logical place. Uh, by logical place, I mean, like, by those sort of things, like barracks and stuff like that. Um, it's just not there. So, 
what? What do you, what do you want me to? What do you want me to do? <laughs> when this thing doesn't want to work, or just doesn't want to work correctly, or on these specific enemies, I'm essentially rendered useless because it it's kind of forcing you to be become a stealth ninja. And that's not really how I like to play the game. Now, I understand that that is what the game is. I understand that. But, you know, I prefer having options on how I complete objectives. And if I can't shoot them, I can't incapacitate them, then what's going on, right? Why am I even here? <laughs> Chase him over here. Oh fuck. Come on. Yes, I'm right in front of you. Oh. He has no idea what's going on. Alessa. Come on. Come over here. Oh shit! Fucking ammo! Ah, but I'm stuck! Like, why would these be here? I think objects... Uh, there should be more objects placed around, because this guy was kind of, like, around here. So I would have had to wait until he's, like, all the way over here just to be able to throw an object at him. Like, to try and get past, but... You know. <laughs> like, I've played this game the way that it's not supposed to be played and I've been told that by the developer and this is how I like to play stealth games I just find it more fun because I just think that taking a lot longer than I should uh, to do something is just kind of boring but that's just my opinion uh, you may like stealth games or you may appreciate their style of stealth game but for me I'm not a fan of stealth games and I try to make it more interesting for myself so when I have AI like this just trying to follow me, I think it's kind of adorable. But <laughs> uh, I don't mean that in any meaning, like mean way. It's just I find it funny when AI are trying to follow me and they can't keep up. But um, where am I going, to be completely honest? Like, I do like the forest, so that's kind of cool. Not going to lie there. I just have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> But I assume it's the right way. Let's go towards the explosion. It's always a good thing. No, no. Oh, don't apparently know. it is. I almost found you. You need to disconnect Walter, and I'll find you. I'll Woman, you, down and we'll have so much you need to calm down. Me. Not sure how that would have crashed like that, though. Just putting that out. Oh fuck, he has a gun. Uh! See, these guys I can take out uh, from behind. <clears throat> or in front, I think, as well. Hold on. No. Target lost, motherfucker, get on the ground! See, like, when he dies, he drops two weapons. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how you take out these kind of guards. But there's other ones, for some reason, I can't take out. Um, I reckon on the other guys, or those other enemies, it should kind of stun them, but not kill them. Because that would give me a little bit of a, ch a chance to actually do things. And I think those enemies should have to follow me a little bit longer. Um, I don't know, it just feels like they're just kind of... Like, see how useless that throw was? This is why these controls are a little bit stupid. I'm just sorry, but they are. Um, like... I don't know, it's just so weird. Like, Z is jump, and I can't, like... Ugh. Like, see? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just it's stupid as hell. But I'm just going to quickly change it to what I had it to, because this seems more logical for me. Um, how did I get back into the game? I thought you said you were going to fix the UI. 
<laughs> the over like the the UI kind of like overlays itself. It's weird. It kind of gets unpaused and then brings up another uh, UI. So yeah, it's a little bit strange. I know that a lot of things that I've been saying isn't positive, but I just want the game to be better. You know, I want it to be better. <laughs> Wireless firewall scrambler. Ooh, interesting. Why can't I pick you up? No, no. Oh, dialog box is gone. Let's go kill this guy. Oh, fuck. I totally forgot the jump wasn't Zed. <laughs> uh, run away. More like walk away, but... Has he lost me yet? No. He will in a minute, though. See, they kind of like crouch and start walking towards you. These guys see you from a little bit further away, but... The other sort of like zombie enemies don't really see you unless you're like right up in their face, which is a bit weird. Come on, sir. See, why is crouching so slow? Ugh. This is what I was talking about before. I don't know if I mentioned it in this bit, but I was recording beforehand. Uh, it took me a little bit to actually figure out where I was going. Uh, so, I, yeah, I didn't actually figure out where I was going at all. But, um, I was saying that crouching just is way too slow. And why the hell is he not incapacitated? You saw that, right? Like, I was in front of him and it was, it was hitting him. It was clearly hitting him. But oh no, I have to go from behind, and then it will incapacitate him, even though he's wearing a helmet. It doesn't really make any sense. Um, yeah. I think it should still work uh, in, in front of them. Um, like, say, if you go for the body, right, it'll kind of stun them. But if you go directly to the head, I reckon that should kill them. I reckon that will make more sense. Rather than going behind them, and then it's like, eh... You uh, kind of stealth kill them and all this stuff. I don't know. Again, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Disable turrets. Oh, these are turrets. Huh. Okay. Take your word for it. Um. Apparently we can't scroll. Oh, there we go. Um, still have no ammunition for this electronic circuit bypasser, so I can't actually continue. So yeah, that's what I was saying before, where you know you don't have enough ammo for all of the different uh, weapons or tools in the game. So if you place a little bit more of them around, uh, rather than giving me like loads and loads of uh, health packs, because this is on hard, just want to point that out there, um, and you saw before that I was getting hit like 20 million times and I didn't die, so, you know, I don't know guys, it's just it's a little bit weird how, like if I completely run out of one, I can't... Like, I haven't seen any ammo for this yet, and I don't know what the ammo will look like, if I can recharge it. It doesn't say. Um, there's not enough dialogue here that will actually explain how to recharge it, how to get ammo, that sort of thing. Um, I assume it would be ammo. Um, but yeah, I just... I don't know. Apparently I'm stuck right now. I can't go anywhere. Um, hmm. Which is a little bit of a shame. Let hold on. Let, let me just see if I can float over to the other side and trigger the actual uh, event. Okay, so it's just a. Uh... All right. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, so we can't go through this door because of the fucking 
They didn't give me enough ammo, so I'm just going to float over the top. Um. I'll wait for this guy to go away, though, because that's kind of unfair. I still have to float down as well. <laughs> oh, it's bugging out hard! It's bugging out hardcore. Fly, there we go. Oh, what? The barrier's huge there for no fucking reason. <laughs> oh. Go in the shadows. <laughs> uh, walk. Please, when you make the full game, don't make these commands usable because people will be able to cheat like that. And this is what I was talking about. Like, if I don't have enough ammo, I'll have to cheat to complete the game. And that's not a way that I would like to continue the game. Just I just want to get that out there because that is a major part of the game where, you know... I can't continue, and if I can't continue, I'm just going to push the game aside and not bother to play it if you're not going to give me enough ammo or enough resources to get past all of these different obstacles you have in place, right? Because all of these doors are just locked. Like, why are all these doors locked? This doesn't make any sense. If these guys are here, they would expect people to come through the door eventually and, you know... Is this the case in every office or every sort of complex? No. Not all doors are locked. So why are they in this? A lot of games do it. I do get that. But this is... I, I don't know. Is this a prison? What is this place? <laughs> if it was a prison, I would make... You know, that would make sense. But I don't know. That's just what bothers me. Um, because I think they start a little bit before... The story is explained because so far it hasn't really explained much about the story other than, you know, Walter is going a bit psycho. Okay, am I in a psych ward? Why do I think everybody is out to get me? Well, my mind apparently, or my mind, sorry, is wiped, I think? So, you know, that, okay. <laughs> How did that happen? There should be some kind of explanation. There should be some kind of cutscene or something like that that will explain that sort of stuff. Or have cutscenes. I don't care if they're concept art cutscenes. Just something to explain what's going on rather than just like random dialogue that just appears, you know? Like, so far, it's, it's not a bad game. I, I want to get that across. It's just some things that make the game unprogressible that really irritate me and that is not enough resources or not enough ammo or what have you and uh, if there's like a weapon that I need or a tool that I need it doesn't really explain that there might be a tool in this area you know if it said something like oh there might there may be a tool that I can use in this area you know, that would get me to look around. If I don't know that something's not in the area, I won't look around. That's just how I am. And I can guarantee a lot of other people are as well. So it's not just me. I hope. <laughs> um, but yeah, every time I find ammo, it's always nine. Uh, I don't know why that is. Prick. See, this is... That's what I was talking about before. They kind of crouch and run at you. Um, that's really, really strange. Um, because if I shoot at you in real... Wow. No checkpoints. Alright, I'm just going to end it here because I, I just... I, I will go through this. But I just don't want to do it in a first impressions because it's going to be very painful. And I want to talk to you guys directly about it. But um, so far, it's not too bad. It's just a few things, like I've been mentioning several times, that uh, things like, you know, resources, uh, enemies not being able to die, like this, these guys here, like the zombie guys, uh, don't get affected by the stun uh, from behind or from the front. Um, they don't get stunned, they don't die, so I don't really know how to kill them unless I actually have ammo, and right now I don't, because the checkpoint didn't work. Um, so yeah. Great. 
<laughs> anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully I did go through some of the things that you wanted me to. Uh, if not, I will create the video again, I guess, but this was my first impressions for the new section of the game that I haven't actually played yet. But yeah, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll hope to see you guys in the future.